A recent New York Times article wrongly credited white Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey with popularizing the fade haircut. The fade is actually rooted in black culture and has been popular for decades. Here's the truth behind this history. Fade haircuts come in all shapes and sizes, but no matter what it looks like, it has a strong black influence. The style especially became popular in the 80s, but black people have rocked fades for decades. Many believe the hairstyle originated in ancient Egypt, referencing how Queen Nefertiti's crown resembles a modern high top fade. But in the 1980s, another black queen made fade haircuts popular. Singer Grace Jones sported a flat top fade on her warm leatherette album cover in 1980. And since then, artists like Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, and Cameo have also rocked the look, making the fade a standard in black culture. There are various types of fades, including the low fade, mid fade, high fade, and taper fade, each offering a different aesthetic and level of boldness. While the haircut has evolved over time, what hasn't changed is it's tied to black culture. The fade hairstyle became a symbol of pride, a way for black individuals to reclaim our cultural identity and express individuality while also connecting to our community. No matter how mainstream black culture becomes, we should protect it from anyone who tries to whitewash it and erase our history. We all know schools aren't teaching black history correctly. That's why Push Black is so important. Will you support truthful, accurate, empowering Black history content with a donation? Click the link in our bio to donate now.